Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Game of Peons. Look at this. What's this? This is very strange. You haven't seen this before. This isn't the Minecraft series or anything like that. What is this? Jim! You're with us. What, what is it? Where, where are you? <laughs> um, you put, like, no effort in saying that. I, sorry, I was working on the farm. This is a town that we built because it's roleplay. Yeah, roleplay. Roleplay. I have to admit, that's become a really big theme in our gameplay series. It, it, it has. <laughs> I think it's ever play. since we did the zombie roleplay. Or something like that. Roleplay. Proper roleplay, anyway, not like uh, Dungeon when, of, like, oh, we Because we did yeah. Dungeons and Dragons, but we haven't. We did. We recently did a uh, a zombie roleplay, like proper that one. That was really good. That was a proper good one. That we haven't done it recently, however. But you know, recent recently, I can't think of any other synonyms. I learned a word, Jim. Yeah, I taught you a word. <laughs> he taught me a word. I put it on note, and I learned the word. It's I good. Feel, it's I feel good. good. I feel good. Okay, so this is our roleplay world. This is the very first area that we created. Actually, no, wait, it wasn't. No, no it was wasn't. this little pool over here by this mountain river thing. Yeah. Over here was the first one we created. But we'll go on the starting zone, at least. It's not going to be the starting zone, but it's going to be a zone. So, the idea of this adventure map is to give you a large, very, very large, and very cool-looking world with lots of imaginations, very fantasy, very much lots of eras poured into it. I say eras, not like sci-fi or anything like that, but you know, a mix of steampunk and uh, medieval fantasy, fantasy yeah. stuff like that. Uh, you know, because you've got like airships and things like that that we've created over time, but the cool part about it mostly is that we haven't actually uh, mostly wasted our time with venture maps that we've created in the past, because we're putting everything that we've made in the past on this world, yep. which I think well, is a good the, idea. All the, d all the decent ones, anyway, yeah. If we don't find any decent ones, we generally just um, fix it up a little bit before we put it in. But this is pretty much actually the first town, and me and Jim said this before recording. The first town we've created where we've looked back on it and not gone, Ugh. But yeah. instead we've gone, yeah, this isn't bad. Some of it could be done better. Like, I don't know what else this is. This market stall is a bit dodgy. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I, I think I made it. I'm not too sure. Th and this blacksmith's pretty cool, actually, but... I don't like it. I... It, yeah, it, it looks a bit enclosed in some areas. It's out of place. Oh, so you just don't think it's a blacksmith when you see it. Mm. Uh, until you go on this side, anyway. But... So touch it up. While we're showing you this little world here, we're going to be discussing with Jim some of the ideas we had. And one of the ideas that we had before actually building this world was the roleplay aspect that we wanted to put into it. We... Pretty much had enough of creating this story-driven adventure map or something like that, and it just didn't really... It was always difficult. It was constrictive, that's what it was. But we had to do it in part of the storyline, we just couldn't do it. So we wanted, like, this um, free roam adventure that we could build... Whatever we wanted. Whatever we wanted in terms of fantasy and steampunk. Exactly. And that's, that's way better, anyway, because that encourages creativity at the same time because we don't have to trick ourselves with a uh, storyline or something like that because it's it's like an adventure map as in you're supposed to have an adventure and explore but you can make your own adventure yeah as if i mean the, i, I could, <laughs> could flibble flubble but brains melted um no because you're supposed to play minecraft properly like you, you know survival you're still supposed to mine stuff and that, We're not going to stop you from doing that. No, but in this, in this sort of setting, in this universe that we've created, mm. we, you know, we will have towns and villages for you to explore, and strongholds and keeps, and then, you know, you might be wandering some giant grassy meadow for no apparent reason, and then come across some dungeon that we've created with mm. elaborate traps. And yeah. Do we're hoping to have a lot of secrets and tons of hidden areas to the point where you're going to miss them. That's that would be the best thing because it'll be a sort of like a, a hunt for secrets, which is always good. People love secrets. People love looking for secrets. Yeah. And if I there's a bunch of them, then that would be a good uh, a good reason to just <coughs> look on the world. If you're just an explorer that likes to look and find new things, that could be a reason why you want to play it. Or if you want to play Minecraft Classic, you can play Minecraft Classic. We're not going to stop you from doing that. You can still go out and mine. This is a generated world. It didn't start from blackness. This is a proper Minecraft generated okay. world. There's ores and stuff. Yeah, so, you know, we, so we're basically encouraging you to play it as if you play Minecraft. You know, to go out, build. You can build whatever you want to build, you know. Yeah. Uh, 
go mine, get your own gear, all that stuff, but in this sort of roleplay. In this pretty cool roleplay environment, there is multiplayer driven. If if you're playing, you yeah. can play it single player, but you're not going to get the best experience. Plus, it's bloody lonely. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty dark place. We were we are going to use testificates in our towns. Uh, I'm not just sure as to what degree though. Like a few Ooh. of them or a lot of them. I'm going off topic. What? Just for a second, right? Yeah. They have announced. Have you heard for the next 1.6 horses? No. Did horses. you see Minecraft 2.0? With armor, <laughs> and then you can like attach them to fence posts. I thought for Mojang, that's a good step in the same direction. They're <laughs> getting there, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah. Um, but you can't just do that, okay? We're not going to stop you doing anything at all. You can. If you give credit, then you can make your own adventure map using this if you want to. The thing is, the world's going to be so big that it's going to be just a bunch of adventure maps, to be it's honest. A really, it's a, it's, well, we're hoping to be quite big, and hopefully with the help of you guys, we'll make it very much community-driven at the same time with lots of maps and buildings that you guys have created so that we can put into it. And we'll give credit, obviously. But that's if you guys want to, obviously. If it really yep. gets to that stage of... Um, you know, people are actually interested in the whole idea of it. Mm -hmm. The roleplay yeah. aspect is going to be something different, however. This is an interesting topic, to be honest, because this is the main idea of it. Yep. It's going to be... If people have roleplayed before, then they can go right on into it, and the dungeon master will look around the map and set up something for them. But it's different, because the main reason people don't like playing these roleplay tabletop-style games is because it's very dice rolly and people don't like that in combat because you could be the strongest guy in the world and still roll a one. <sighs> oh god, and it's okay, it's intense, but it's m sometimes unfair and it's not very fun. But the good part about this is you don't have to roleplay your battles, you could just fight zombies with these swords that you've earned from your quests. But you can, yeah. you can roll dice for maybe looking in a room or something like that to see if you can find traps or something like that and the we're hoping to have two different texture packs. One of them is for the dungeon master, where he can see like blocks that indicate different things. For instance, a secret wall or a trap or something like that. And the players will have their own, which makes it look all normal and a lot. Which I think it'll be a pretty good idea, because then the player will actually have to roll dice to see if they find a trap. If they don't find a trap, then there's uh, a chance that they'll actually go over that trap and they'll fall down a, a nest or whatever the hell the dungeon master actually sets up for them. Priest, I have a confession. What? I don't remember us talking about this. We didn't. This is an idea I came up with, but oh, every time okay. I want to talk to you about it, I just forget. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Because that's like, not the first time that this happened. <laughs> it's not the first time it's happened. I should really like have a l bit better look around here than just looking in the normal area. Let me just uh, go. Yeah, go? Uh, I'm just having a look around this little farm area here. We just want to diversify our towns, not just make it a bunch of buildings. Yeah. Uh, it's really hard, actually, to do that. And I was going to say, I want to make each building unique, but it's diff that's difficult because test difficulties just suck. Yeah, they really do suck. <sighs> I mean, we've got a unique amount of buildings, however, anyway. We've got the church, we've got a tavern, we've got a apothecary, we've got a blacksmith's. We've got something that our town needs. We've got a cafe as well. We've got a cafe as well, which is pretty neat. Um, well, we're, we also like have a few shops cafe. as well, and we have a marketplace. We're probably going to put more market stalls down, however. If we go in here, I think this is the cafe. Yeah, it is. Oh, I saw a really good marketplace design, and now it's in my mind. And I think this is where the pigs go, aka horses, which will be horses soon, I guess. Yeah. Um, what the hell's going on here? Look at this. This is really weird. Maybe I did it. Okay, okay then. I know, I know I did it, but... And there's some holes in the roof. Um, but I think that was just to find our way up. Lo lots of these houses don't have anything interior done for the yeah. at the time. We don't know well, whether to do know, that or not, we, though. No, because we said we were going to, like, have players live in them. Yeah, we're thinking, what What I'm looking at here is that the bigger areas, like the churches and taverns, will have interior, but all of these houses won't have anything in them at all. Yeah. And the player could just go in there and rent it. It'll be nice and done, all nice and tidy. We're hoping to have shops, like proper shops, that are where we MC edit in, the way you can buy, like, unique items and stuff like that, including swords that also have unique shop names and stuff like that. Which I know how to do. Um, if any of you have seen the Herobrine maps, 
Uh, that's what you've seen on those maps. Unique items with damage indicators and stuff like that. Which is pretty cool. But we've, we looked at this town here. Now over here is the jungle area. Sort of like a jungle. It's forest. Forest even. But it looks like a jungle. Look at it. It's all a sort of evil it's forest. An it's, a bin it's a tainted forest. Tainted. Very much tainted by the spider creatures that lurk within. Taint. As you can see right here. All over the place. Uh, no, but it's, uh, it's hard to make a proper effect with just blocks. With blocks. It is, it is. It's really difficult. Yeah, but this is, uh, this is sort of one of the secrets. It's one of the easiest secrets to find. But if you yeah. go down it, then you can find a spider den. These oh, uh, green blocks jump. are meant to represent eggs. This is as far as I'm uh, going to go, by the way. You just know that this is a spider den, which is pretty neat. How do they look? They look yeah. more like eggs. They do actually. Mm. Or like slime or something like that. Oh yeah, it's just green wool. It's, so, it's only pretend, kids. It's, <laughs> it's only pretend, damn it. I'm not going to throw actual eggs on the floor. This is like uh, an abandoned tower that has actually fallen into the water. Oh yeah, these are... We're going to have a bunch of stuff like this scattered throughout maps. Just like little... Little things that you can find. That are just kind of yeah, that have been overgrown or something like that. And we might try, you know, put some law, quote-unquote, into it. Maybe a little bit of law. You never know. Yeah. The thing so, is, the so idea is the players are meant to put their own law into the game. All that. All yeah. That. Yeah. 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 That's good. yeah. This is a little farmer house. I'm um, by Sorry. the first area by the waterfall. Oh, right. It's right, like right, a fisherman's yeah. house, sort of. This is a little, uh, sort of vegetated, decomposed-ish building. Although, we were going to have grass on the roof, but... It looked kind of odd. Just a little bit odd. Um, seeing as he's not really much of a swamp man, he's still... Because look on the inside, it's all nice and tidy. It's, it looks really good. <laughs> it does, it's a good use of the area, I like to think. And then you've got a fisherman area. Area. I'm not going to show you anything here, but there is a secret around here. And it's pretty damn obvious where it is. But I'm not going to show you it, and it's not in my view sight. There you go. <laughs> We're going to go away from here. Here's some rapids that Jim made. Sort of oh, go down right. into this little bit of raw water here, and the idea is that it sort of streams up into this mountain again, and then comes back on top Wait, of this waterfall, and then drops down. And this is how this is constantly here. Otherwise, it wouldn't make much sense, and all this water will just drain out eventually. Are we on the other side of this hill? I'm on top no. of the mountain where the camp is. What? Right. <laughs> There's yeah. actually a camp up here. We're gonna have a lot of random areas, just lots of random things, camps. Decomposed buildings, even this weird uh, circular mushroom ring that I think represent from War of the Roses or something like that. No, I just no, because we haven't played War of the Roses when I made that. Didn't we? No, it's just it's like a common like fairy tale thing, just like mushroom rings, fairies. Mm. Kind of okay. Shenanigans. I know on every War of the Roses map there's a ring of mushrooms. There is, I don't know why. Yeah, <laughs> it mu must be a reference to something or nothing. Incredibly possible. Very much where, possible. Where are we going now? Let's have a look here. We'll have a nice little walk around here from the gate. The gate's not properly be done yet. It just looks South like a little door. Because we wanted it to be safe. Side of the... so, just, so yeah, we're going north. Yeah, I think we're going north. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure. Just, no, I just checked. Just checked. Yeah. I just absolutely checked. But what I'm anyway, what I'm also hoping, which would be kind of neat, is if people have servers that they want to host. Then you can take this map and play it with your friends on that and like large scale Like even with people that you don't know that kind of servers where people could just join at random and start playing this awesome adventure map It's as long as you give credit then it's fine <laughs> so I mean, I would be kind of annoyed if people just started playing this map without giving credit um, we worked hard, man. Yeah, we worked well, hard and hopefully we'll the community be hard. Will um, join us in that respect we'll be working incredibly hard. Oh, yes, definitely so Look at this zombie right here. Uh, we have no, a mine over there, but we'll have a look at this uh, sort of destroyed town. Uh, I went through so many phases to sand this town. What have you done to it now? <laughs> uh, uh, mycelium is not a dark green. Thank God. <laughs> oh, no, because on the Doku pack we used originally. Mycelium oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what? Is this just a, like a load of heads? It's just like a, it's a corpse, man. You're standing on dead people. Ah. Oh. No wonder it's all slow and mucky. That's disgusting. So you're telling me the undead had organized? No, because it was like... 
I don't know. Um, it was like when the town was first being ravaged by the undead. You know, people would slowly just gather the dead. You know, because like I mean, it, it. You know, the first day, the first night, it's like one or two zombies. Yeah. The next night, maybe six. Maybe six. It looks like and we've got maybe, some signs here to like border up the uh, windows. Yeah, maybe like it looks better from the outside though. It looks like the last stand kind of thing going on here. Yeah, you know, and then suddenly the zombies start building up, villages start dying, so they just pile the corpses, burn the corpses, and the fires run out. Everybody's dead. Is this how they got in? <laughs> no. Okay, no, to, I think there's just like an actual water. proper well which actually meant to went down to a water source. It's a bloody big one. Yeah, bloody hell. I think this is also another secret area. You jump down here, and I think it was something I was working on. But it know. was just a way to go in the mine. The thing is, we're not stopping you from just mining your way through buildings and stuff like that. You could do yep. that. Yep, we want, well, we kind of want you to do that. It's like, we're keeping it in mind, so. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah, I'm also gonna. Where's that necromantic ring? Over yonder. I'll show them what those are. I'm not going to tell them what they're for at, at all, though. I'll just show them. Oh, you you moved it. You it. It's over here. Oh, yeah, we put it in the graveyard, didn't we? Did we? Yeah, um... Where have you ah, there it is, yeah. Look at this little ring. It's actually not what it's meant to look like right now. But this is no. going to be a little taste of what it is. Right. We're hoping that when this uh, full map is out, uh, all of these will be pretty much in place. I'm going to say all of these, just for now. You oh, don't know how many there's going to be. You're hinting. I'm hinting. I'm hoping people are actually interested in these things. Because it does lead to some pretty interesting things happening. It's, it's good. Maybe an adventure map in and of itself, even though it's not properly one. You never know. Yep. But it, either way, it's going to have a pretty interesting theme to it. It's good. It's it good. is good. good. That's what I'm going to show you right there. They, these, I'm going to say, are really damn hard to find. And this is just a taster one. Probably. This is, if this is even going to be here, then it will not be part of the originals. Let's the say. wild cactus. Got it. The wild cactus. Oh yeah, this used to be a desert. Ugh, God damn. We have so much desert and snowy biomes on this map. Yeah. Have to change it all. So I started to MC edit the crap out of it. And yeah, then they still not got large biomes working in multiplayer. No. I, well, I, no, I think they have it, but I can't activate it in Clan Forge. I probably could if I mucked around the uh, little engine there, but I'm not too sure what the thing code is. Right, where have you gone, you little lumberjack? I've gone to the other... I've gone across this uh, mycelium sort oh, of wasteland, right. and I've gone to the much more walled-off town that you found. These are actually generating towns, though, I might add. Yeah. These are just random things. We just saw them. Jim was like, oh, we might as well put them to use. So yep. we made them these uh, really bunged-up towns. I mean, because... This is one thing I don't like about testing because they can never hold off a zombie invasion. Never. Never hold off a zombie invasion. And they have no testing of warriors. And I know you golems. say, you're a slaring golems, but they, they just suck. They're not great. And they also end up just hitting their testificates. Yeah. So. <laughs> and they're really slow. And they, their AI is not good. <laughs> yep, they basically yeah. got eaten to death. It wasn't great for them. It wasn't great for us, however. A little bit. It was a little bit fun. To, well, I didn't do any of these areas. Jim did this. And the other one down there. Um, however, the water actually stops the mycelium from growing. Oh, yeah. That's that why cool. you only see it limited in areas. And also trees and wildlife stops the mycelium from growing. We're not yeah, too like sure a... where the mycelium really originates, however. We've not covered that yet. Yeah, but I think that's just something for the players to really discuss with themselves. Or if this is even going to be here. I'm not really too sure at the moment. It does feel a little bit out of place. Mycelium. Yeah. Yeah. It's too so close to the main area. Yeah. Well, I think, you know what, I think we're putting too much in at the beginning. We need to pace this out. This looks really cool, though. It does. <laughs> this bit right here. I, we could put a camp here. Good. Like, and right here. I would make a house here. Like, look at it. It's got a really nice view. Yeah. You can see the town as well, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking taking the mycelium out, or maybe just putting it where the towns are, so maybe they came out of the wells. Oh, that's cool. No, because that wouldn't work with the whole water blocking the mycelium thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, but it would only be in the town area, and it would it'd only be able to originate um, from a specific distance of the well. 
I've got, okay, you know what, I don't even want it to be mycelium anymore. Just change it back to grass? No, um, And yes. just leave some sort of story behind these destroyed villages? Yeah, I'll just say test certificates suck. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. They do. They do suck. Okay, that's not all we have in this little area. This is going to be quite a big map, but this is really tiny at the moment. But that's because we haven't had any ability to um, work on it or anything like that at all, because it's been either really busy, or Voxel Sniper has stopped working because the update. Because of an update. Um, yep. Of course, we could just revert back, but I always re revert back, and then I have to go back and fuck around and... Ugh. Yep. Sorry, my brain is on a. Can only focus on one thing today. Mhm. Mm uh, yeah. This is the uh, the lumberjack house. I'm gonna quickly yep. show this off. There's nothing really probably going on inside here, either than a bed and this little sofa. You can see a bear. A bear. He is Arr. lumberjack. He's hairy as hell. I live here, however. The lumberjack bear. I'm pretty ready. I'm I'm ready to go. Bright it's red. The whole... Oh, it's a dog. Dog pen. Yeah, I'm not too sure what this dog was called, but. You could just go to this dog and uh, turn it into yours, I'm not too sure. We'll just call him Ivan. Myvan. It's my Ivan. Ivan the dog. This used to be snow biome, as you could tell by the trees, but we decided to keep the trees in because they look pretty cool. They look nicer without the snow. Yeah, they do look pretty cool. Woodland. It's like Scott's Pine Woodland. Yeah. Which is my favourite. I love Let's go up here. Um, we didn't properly show off the farm. Oh, this is the oh. windmill. It's a different design than what's usually done to windmills, which I think is pretty cool. Yep. But it's also attached to the farmer's house, and then they've got this uh, little bit of land right here, which is uh, sort of grubby, sort of all over the place, but it looks nice. Nice yeah, it's little like, bit of land. Um, like wind dispersion has caused some seeds to sort of just grow on the sides. Yeah. And then you've got this uh, the sheep pen right here, which they're just eating all the grass. And they try to make the great escape by just bashing through this wall. Uh, no, oh, no, that, that didn't happen. Sheep. But um, it was, but it was the zombies. Yeah, the so they had to they had to do a, they had to make a quick repair, and they're quite they're around the town, but I can't remember what areas. And there's one there, one over there, and one over there by behind the church. That's this. Uh, I don't think there's anything inside this um, farmer's house. It's quite big though, and there's lots of uh, torches. No, we haven't designed it yet. There's also a way to get. Well, there used to be a way to get to the windmill. I'm not too sure what happened here. <laughs> yeah, we need to change the turb. Actually, I like the turbine, but I think we should change it. Why? Because so, you remember you did that really nice 3D one. Oh like, yeah, I, I might be able to change 3D, it. The... Maybe. Have, like, well, I think maybe keep this one, and because it, it's not gonna be the only windmill in the world, is it? So. That is true. So we'll probably just have a different amount of different types of windmills. I need to and change that. Oh, so this is a little shrine thing that Jim made. We didn't oh. know what to put here for the longest time. Because I was gonna suggest it be like a teleporter thing. And then I've, I've not really thought about how it would work. Is that some, it could be a secret. People go like, oh, what's this? A boing teleports them to some cool area. But where, though? Oh, it would just be a small room, maybe. Or maybe it, maybe it would just be a small room where the credit is. Or I'm not too sure. Oh, no, I re we were going to... I know there's going to be a start room on this world which credits everyone that's helped. Yeah. Um... You know, if they added any buildings, if it if it really gets anywhere. <clears throat> but yeah. we're gonna have a room like that. But um, f what the idea was, I think, was there's gonna be a bunch of teleporters where you can teleport to different parts of the world that are like the main cities or something like that. Maybe. We haven't actually made our main city just yet. Maybe. maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Haven't we? Okay. Haven't we haven't probably made a city. We've only made towns really. We haven't had much. Um, Actually, the Necropolis, would that be a main city? Dead one. That was a long time <laughs> ago, be, but... Uh, um, if we make it bigger, yeah. Yeah, if we make it bigger, faster, stronger. Uh, if we put the cathedral that I made a little while ago, that would look pretty cool. Uh, and that castle about, that I made on one of the other maps. Are we going about a newer cathedral, or the cathedral from the, the, the cathedral from the uh, Necropolis? The cathedral, the newer one that I made. I don't remember that one. Um, I'll show it now. I think we have world edit on. Oh dear. Uh, <laughs> this isn't going to end very well, is it? No. We'll be right back. So this is the cathedral I'm talking about. Um, it's not going to be made out of Neverack, though. Yeah, it looks... But it's sort of got, like, this undead design, which at first I hated, but I think because of this texture pack, I'm more into now. This... Yeah. It 
looks really ominous with the sniper mic. It's evil. <laughs> dude, we've got, dude, we've got quartz now. You could use that. Quartz? Yeah. Do we? But it's got this nice sort of regal... Oh, sniper. right, yeah. What was the point of quartz? <laughs> For the crack. Just, just, just for the sake of having something new that can put. Ah, Jesus. Yep. But anyway, um, that's the cathedral. That's just going to be the cathedral and the big city that we'll make. We're going to have a bunch of cities, but I'm not too oh, sure what's going to be the biggest city at uh, this time. Yeah. The thing is, this world's going to be constantly changing during the updates, and the hom I'm hoping that we just constantly keep updating this map with new stuff every every time, over and over again. Sort of cool, just like, sort of pop it in. Yep, and that that'd be cooler as well, because we'll instead of making the map and then get putting out on release, people can actually give us feedback on what they have ideas for, or maybe yeah. they think this doesn't make any sense. Why is this here? Or maybe they have something to put in, which will then officially release kind of Yeah, and then we'll they'll probably show it to us, and then we'll be like, yeah, that's pretty cool. We'll put that in there on the uh, full version. Yeah, which is always so nice. So it'll start with us, and then hopefully it'll spread. It'll spread for the world like a virus. It's not good. We're back at the town. I'm going to go south, I believe. Okay. Uh, to That's where good. those um, strange-looking overhang buildings are. Ah, yes. Oh, yeah, before that, though, we've got this tower right here. We've got a, a very cool-looking river design, actually, that ended up being a lot cooler than we originally anticipated. It's got this... Yep. You know where the tower is? I'm right here, yeah. It's on, like, a tiny island, isn't it? And it's slightly oh, right, attached yeah. to the others. Which oh, yeah. we wasn't really aiming for, but it ended up actually being really cool, so we kept it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we got like a little gravel walkway that goes all the way to this tower, where you could see quite a large area. But also, it, this river... What was you going to say? Sorry, I was just saying, I think we should make the tower more domesticated. As if people are actually on point. Yeah, well maybe we'll put um, a, a house down there, or maybe some uh, camp. A little, yeah, a little barracks or... Little barracks, yeah, something like that. That'd be probably a little cool, pretty little cool. Yeah. And we've also got a secret around here, which I'm going to show, just to show but that... Give it away, all oh, the secrets! No, 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 I have to, I have to, just to show that we are actually making secrets. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm going to show the, the level of secrets, because they're all going to be from small secrets to really big secrets. Like that one of the portal that I showed you earlier, earlier even though it's not actually a portal. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. What? What? <laughs> anyway, so this is a cool little area that I created, where it's sort of like this mushroom, heavily inside infested area, full of fungus and shit. I'm not too sure exactly what was going to be here, but there's going to be an old cranky old, uh, just a cranky old man, I guess. Radagast the Brown. Yeah, pretty much Radagast the Brown. Um, that's, pretty much, that's pretty much it, this area. The cool thing about it, though, is that it's pretty much the only place at the moment where it's got these little mushrooms. Now... <sighs> These mushroom things are really annoying to make and spawn in, but I'm hoping we have like this giant ass mushroom at some point. Honestly, I, l I love the red ones because look, right? You just get some wood and then bam, makeshift towels. Makeshift towels full of gnomes. Beautiful See? thing. That's why I love them. And then you get rid of the stem. Just... Yeah, no, you just chop out the stem. Anyway, yeah, it's too bad they don't spawn very often. <sighs> I've, I've never seen my cellium in. Like my entire Minecraft blood. I have, I have, I've seen it spawn. I've been in my little. It's like little chunks, though. I've never seen it. I've never had it naturally spawn in any of my worlds. And then my dad comes to me the other day. And he's like, Jim, what the hell is this shit? And I, like, it's my cell dad. And he's like, what the crap? There's only like a tiny bit of it. And I'm like, yup. Anyway, yeah. So this is the lake, the quite large lake that <coughs> ends off. Wow, the waterfall looks really weird from this uh, from this distance. Looks like glitching. You could see it though. Can you see it move? Oh yeah. <laughs> it looks very, very strange, but cool at the same time. But anyway, yeah, we've got these sort of strange overhang houses. Now these were actually just a random idea of mine. Um, they're really, I just don't know. I just thought it would be cool. I guess. I don't like them. I anymore. do like them. I know. Okay, I'll re I'll explain. I like them, but out of place. Yeah. They are, and it's like, because we're right next to this civilized town with a watchtower right there, and like, why are these houses here, man? Well, this civilized town is more of like a, 
a point of adventure. That's the point why I say why we start there because oh, most of the area like... surrounding it has not really been properly. Ah, so we're on the fringes of explored territory. Yeah, that's what well... it is. So anywhere on this direction or in other directions have not been properly explored. So it's got some very strange things going on. Okay. But yeah, that's why you mainly spawn there. Um, I'm not too sure as to the structure of the world so far. Um, sure, but I'm thinking think. anywhere south is going to be sort of unexplored. Anywhere on the other directions will be I a mix of unexplored and... Um, I think north will be more explored. Yeah, definitely more explored. We've also got something down north, which is pretty neat. Actually, slightly up here, Jim had the idea of making this just giant chasms. Oh, uh, we've not even begun. Not even, yeah, n not even started on this chasm idea. It was just going to be like giant moorland. Yeah. It's huge, not ravines as you know them in Minecraft, but like, you know, just causeways that sort of just swim on through the mountains. And then, like Lord of the Rings, you know when they'd always, always in like, I don't know, like ten times in every film, they'll have a panning you know, sit like panorama view of them running over these giant hills. <laughs> Pretty much. That kind of thing. And <laughs> every single film. <laughs> more than more than once as well. They love they love hills. But it's beautiful countryside in those films. Yeah. Now there's one more thing which I don't think we've shown. See, there's probably uh -huh. secrets we've completely forgotten about. What's a secret? Um, it's not a secret, but I'm thinking there's probably some secrets we've created and just forgotten about completely. We shouldn't have forgotten what secret was entirely. We should have really put in like a notepad on and just coordinated all of our secret oh, areas. Yeah. <laughs> that probably would have been a good idea. Um, oh well. Um, so yeah, there's this last area that's sort of like a, a market. Oh, right. That place. Like an outside market area. This is the newest thing that we've created. Mm. Well, actually, the market's been around for a while. Well, the market, yeah, the market itself has been around since the last adventure map that we were making. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's been slightly edited, but um, pretty much this is a market area where loads of thieves, bandits, and people like that roam around, sell their stuff, and sometimes get robbed. But, yeah, it's pretty much Creep Highway, um, Villain Highway, that's probably what it is. Loads of people mm -hmm. selling stuff. Not all bad, it's just a place where you can trade in that lot. And we're hoping in the trading system you'll be able to buy some very unique items that you will require in order to get something else. We're thinking like, you know, you okay. find like the spider eye, we'll rename it to Eye of New, and because of the naming system and that lot, you will actually have to have an Eye of New in order to actually... No, because I want to make sense, when you call a spider, it'll drop an Eye of New. No, no, it'll drop, an, it'll drop a spider eye. That's what it'll drop, but in a shop, you can buy an Eye of New, and oh, it'll be an do, Eye of New. Can you have the same item renamed for different circumstances? It can be renamed, yeah. Oh, yeah um, no, cause of course it can. But they you won't have, drop it. Because if you rename an item in a shop, you know, if you rename, yeah. Uh, uh, we have a t little test certificate that runs around actually, and uh, I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't know where he is. Um, yeah, I don't also, know where. He, I think he's just been adventuring the land. Just for pointers, I like the whole green with the trapdoor. Yeah, I thought it looked pretty good. It looks, it looks good. It looks good. Although this bit's missing for some reason. Um, <laughs> And also, no. this side's not here for some reason. That's a bit strange. I'm telling you, I think the world's just... There's, there's, there's been a glitch in the Matrix. What so do you mean? I don't know. I just feel like there has been. I feel like something's just gone wrong. Because you know? like, bits, like I said, you know, bits of water have been missing and other stuff for no reason. I'm just like, what? It's very strange. And then this is like a little mountain side we thought, I thought it looked pretty cool. Uh, with, like this giant waterfall that goes down into this lake, and this is like the main reason why this lake is still here. Yep. Because it's all going down into the uh, from here, which is also going is being sucked back up. And on top of this mountain area here, you've got like sort of where the lake actually is. There's going to be a little hole that goes down into a very secret area of the bottom part of the lake, which will take you to the top. If you're a good swimmer, that is. Yeah. But other than that. If you're not, then you're going to die. And then this is the market stall area where you can buy all the neat little stuff like the Eye of Newt. Which, Whoops. you know, when you buy the Eye of Newt, it will be an Eye of Newt. And it will only, if you want to sell the actual Eye of Newt to a uh, vendor that looks like he has a spider eye, but it's actually called the Eye of Newt. 
If you put the spider eye in there, I don't believe he will actually sell you the item because it's not the eye of new. I can only hope. I can only hope enough. because then we can make some interesting ways to buy special items. Although I mean, if it does work and you can sell him a spider eye, claiming claiming it's an eye of new, just like fraud. Sh shifty deals, dude. It's like, shifty. Yeah, man, it's an eye of new. Of course it is. Of course, of course it is. Of course it is, man. There you go. Role play aspect already in there. It's fantastic. If, if, you know, the tech doesn't come through. But that's it, I do believe. Is it? This is the text pack I think we're going to be using, but we keep changing text packs. Um, this one's the best one I've found so far. I'm not too sure what Jim feels about it. I... I like it. Yeah. I... It's like... It's a mix of Dobaku and others. Um, but it's also good because it's not high res... It's, well, it's high... It's HD. But it's not, it's like 32 or 60. Mm. I can't remember what it is. I think it's 60. Six, it's 64. It, it would be HD. So, um. Yeah, so it's not too bad for people that have low end machines, but you probably just want to use default. Default's fine though, but you won't get the full experience. I'm gonna have a look. Of this pretty little world here, but you can still use other texture packs, obviously. And this isn't our texture pack. Uh, I can't remember who made this, but this is the creative, creative ones. It's medieval. Oh, yeah. What did I do? I if you put in a uh, Minecraft top ten text pack, you'll be able to find it right there. Is it really? Um, oh, I didn't find it there brighter. myself. Um, I found it in that Minecraft DL site, but um, if you did look on top ten, I did look it's on, on the top Minecraft ten just in case. Well, so that's where yeah. Um, but if you're Minecraft top ten, you'll be able to see it there. Well, the world looks a lot different and a lot brighter in. It yeah. does. It's going to take a little bit of work to get it back into place. And I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to use the Minecraft Overviewer to see where this world's actually going so it can yeah. actually properly plan it out rather yeah. than Otherwise. building a lot of random stuff which sometimes just doesn't make sense actually being there. Mm. Yeah. Thing is though, it's okay if it's a building or something like that because we can easily move that. But if it's a piece of terrain, that's going to take a lot longer to actually fix. Do we want to show the mine? Oh, no. oh yeah, the mine, of course. We showed everything else. We showed everything else but the mine, yeah. Hmm. I was going to show them that, but we got sidetracked on the uh, villages. Okay, so this is the little mine that Jim created. Looks pretty cool. Being like held up. It looks like a proper mine, but I'm obviously, probably. like all mines, mimes, mines, in the... Um, oh! In the... I didn't mean to say that. That was an accident. I just had a dirt moment. What? I'm single player. I've been trying to play, set up my minecarts and stuff. And I've had the powered rails that lead to this powered. So when I use the lever, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> oh, jeez. So I've just realized. My mistake. Look at this. It moves. It does. What is this? Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, but anyway, yeah. Okay. Like all mines in the fantasy world, it's uh, abandoned. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Every single mine. It's like a dwarf digging too deep every single time. Fucking Moria. <laughs> Fucking Moria. No one cares about the Belrogs these days. Because there's not oh. as many of them. But this is just a random mine where you can actually go in and mine some coal. There's a little bit of iron. It used to have a shit ton more, but then Jim was like, Bitter snow. It's too well, much. They've, they've been here. The Whoever built this have been here. They've dug it out. Yeah. Um, it makes sense. So, whatever you, wherever you're going to go dig... It's going to be at the ends of the tunnels. Yeah, which is where we put the coal in that lot. And you can go sell coal. We're hoping to have a currency system in gold nuggets or maybe something that we edit in. Mm. Or something pretty cool like that. And maybe a banking system because, I mean, I made something up before where we had uh, bronze coins, silver coins, gold coins, oh, and that, then diamond yeah. coins. No. I might be able to put that in just to make it a little bit more interesting. Oh, that would be good. Because then we also had, because the way you would exchange is we'll have bankers and exchange, you know, people where you go to exchange and yeah. 64 yeah. copper or maybe just 60 copper and you always have four in return. I'm not too yeah. sure how it's going to work, but, um, you know, 64 copper and then you get one silver, uh, 64 silver, one gold and so on and so forth. And then you could also go back on that. So one silver will give you 64 copper. And stuff like that, and I thought it would be pretty cool. Because then it also would be a good reason to build another building in Sign Towns. Yeah, no, it would actually. Which would be a bank, really. And that would also encourage people to have uh, 
in their banking. servers, the little banking system that's actually in there, and you don't need mods or anything like that. It just runs in the map. And then you can have a Robin Hood because you can, run, right? If you if you have a server running and you RP, you have some sheriff of Nottingham type character, you know, taking the money, raising taxes. You, know, you need a Robin Hood. Or an anti-Robin Hood, which actually just takes it and then kills them, and that's it. And it doesn't yeah. care if King. The king comes long ago as well, bro. What's going on? Um, well, the prince of the time. Prince. <laughs> I don't well, remember. the king's off fighting the crusade, dude. I just thought the king would come along. I'd be like, yeah, bro, crusade's no, done. He's in, like, uh, um, I knew he was in a crusade. I couldn't remember his name. King Richard's fighting the crusade. Prince John's in charge. There we go. Prince John's a dick. <laughs> anyway, and on we're gonna end on a high note. Definitely. Are we on about musical note or stoned? Stoned. <laughs> stoned and musical note. A good contrast, I like to think. Uh, I'm I'm by the uh, by the uh, camp. I was just gonna teleport anyway. But okay. Yeah. But this is it. This is our little world here. Hopefully, we've discussed. We actually haven't discussed too much in depth, but I'm hoping to make some other videos related to. A much more in-depth look, in-depth look at ideas that we have yes. somewhere down the line. It's the word I can't pronunciate correctly. It's I, no, I've noticed Chris is too. He does like instead of th is an f. Yeah, in-depth. Nope, in-depth. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs> if you enjoyed this, tell your friends. It's gonna be great. Like, oh, yeah. subscribe, all um, that good stuff. I was gonna say mom. Go um, tell your mom, <laughs> tell your mom, your dad, anyone like that. You notice how dad doesn't have an Americanism? Dad. Da da. Da da. <laughs> Look, I have your da da. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hope great. you guys enjoyed this little look here with Jim. We haven't seen him for a little while. Um, we hope to have more of him in this little role play, little venture right here. Should be good. Should be nice and fancy. No. Like I said before, don't forget to like, subs li yeah. like, ferret, subscribe. I said it like a hundred million times. I still can't say it correctly. Like, ferret, subscribe, all that yeah. good stuff. Tell your friends. Tell your grandmother. Tell everyone you can. And uh, that's what we're gonna be doing. Maybe. And um, and there you go. We'll see you guys next time for more role play shenanigans of this world. The progression of it anyway, which we're not too sure how long it's going to take until Voxel Sniper really goes in. But anyway, yeah. See you next time. We found you. Yeah. What's he selling? Uh, I don't know. I, I want a great bow, greater bow of power. That's a boring name. Well, <laughs> shut up. Potion of Madness. I'm gonna take there we go, the Potion of Madness. The most dangerous potion. That. Change your but FOV to Quake. The empty glass, there it is. What do we need to buy it? Uh, glass bottle and some blaze powder. Is this the one where we turn our FMV up to, to Quake, Pro, Quake yeah. Pro and then just go nuts? It's <laughs> <laughs> pretty much how we do it. And that's him for the emerald. Ah, here we go. Uh, potion Madness. Oh god, the potion gives Don't immortal it. powers to die. Here we go. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. But since I upped my FOV to 90. Quake Pro doesn't feel that bad. It doesn't. <laughs> it, it, when I when I was on like your default FOV, going to Quake Pro just felt like everything had been squashed and elongated, and I was just like, what? But now it's squashed just... and elongated. Yeah. Okay, gonna use the powers. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I recall it making you go upside down though. I'm. It's not happening to me. Yeah. I do remember that happening. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. It's terrible. Oh, no. This isn't good. This isn't good at all. Oh. 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 Oh my god, I feel like I'm going to warp speed right now. What was I going to say? Oh yeah, everyone
every time, as Chris told you about, every time he plays the mount on World of Warcraft. 